I need to talk to her. Pigs look hungry. Welcome to my empire, traveler. I am a Tsemperis, Kirki of the Oceanids. You live here? Where are my manners? You must be weary after your long journey. There's some wine in my hold if you'd fetch it for us. I'm a bit indisposed at the moment. I could use a drink. I'll fetch the wine. This toy has teeth marks. You look deliciously thirsty. All right, Empress. Let's drink. That's it. Drink your last drink. Breathe your last breath. My subjects grow hungry. I will rip you apart and feed you to your animals! How dare you challenge The witch kept a list of names. And trophies. This bracelet was worn by a leader.
More speed! Roar, slow down! About my leader, do you have any news? In the cave, I found a man. I took these spices from him. Ah, my leader. Do you think the man you found was a cyclops? Then he concocted an elixir from these spices and helped him to grow a second eye? Arnavas, there was no cyclops on Anafi, any more than there was one on Cephalonia. Have faith, my friend. Lida was there. I found this bracelet. And a lot of pigs. I can explain. Lida had it and was transformed into a pig by Kirki. When she was turned back into a beautiful woman, she gave this to Kirki to remember her by. Right as always, old friend. Which means we're one step closer to finding Lita, I think. You think correctly! The gods would never lie! Aside from Volus, and the party, but never by them. I found this Avlos on a siren, if you could call her that. An Avlos? My wife always loved these. I bet she learned to play it alongside the sirens as they sung men to their deaths. Just like her. I'll bet the Sirens and Lida were good friends. She was so mesmerizing. Her song always worked on me. All that for a bracelet, an avlos, and some spices. But look! I know this bracelet too well. The women of the Siege Plains wear them. These spices are native to the lands of Demeter. And this avlos is marked by a craftsman in the Parnes Mountains. They're all from Attica. The cave! They're all around the one known as the entrance to the underworld. It can't be a coincidence. Is that where Lida is? There's only one way to know. Let's go. Most would have called me crazed, but not you. You truly are my best friend. It's nothing. Now, let's find your wife. So, what does Lida look like? She was the most beautiful woman I've ever known. Beautiful dark hair and skin. Her green eyes sparkled like jewels. And when she drank, could she fight? <laughs> she sounds fun. She was that and more, my young friend. So much more. It's been so long. I wonder if Lida would even recognize this old face.
Off we go now. should be extra careful in this area. Alexios. Lida? Stop! I'll kill you if you come any closer. Who sent you? Belenos? Adiglis? Relax. We're here on our own. You haven't aged a day. Is this the underworld? Lida, it's me! Varnavas! That was my father's name. I never told it to anyone. Father? Young one, please. What was your mother's name? The same as mine, Lida Avitica. You were right, old friend. Lida survived, but not the way your visions told you. This is your daughter. Impossible. You have no proof. Young one, a lifetime ago, your mother and I sailed side by side. The night I lost my eye, a tempest overwhelmed us and ran us into the rocks. Lida was so brave, 
She roped together some of the splintered hull. I held her and I said, Don't stop paddling. Until you reach the shore. Oh, she, she told you this story. Good. After all this time, Matter said you were a king who died fighting the Idra. You need to know. Matter, she's... I understand. We'll grieve her together. I hate to interrupt, but Lida, you did threaten us with a blade. And there were bodies. After Matter died, I took over the farm. Ever since, suitors have tried to marry me for my fortune. When that didn't work, they decided it would be easier to kill me for it. You've been defending yourself. Let us help. These kinds of people don't stop until they have what they want. You mentioned two names. Pelenos and Antigles. They both live nearby. I can show you where. Let's go together. <sighs> With you by my side, we'll be unstoppable. Right. Together. Into battle. I will meet my leader again in the Golden Fields. Tell me, did she ever remarry? She did. He was a good man, kind to her and to me. Over here! Where are you? Good! I pray to the gods that if she lived, she would live happily. The gods listened. What great mysteries do you hide from us? My mother's farm and my life are safe with all my heart. Thank you, both of you. And thank you for making this old man happy again. Now, about that wine! So now that you have your life back, what will you do with it? Honor my mother, protect our farm and our fortune. I was hoping you'd join your old pater on the Adrestia. The gods sent me a sign by bringing you back to me to save this place. I can't dishonor them and matter by leaving. Take it from someone who lost his family. This is not an opportunity that many people get. Go with your father. Pater, our farm is yours. One day, when you've sailed the world and want a stable home, you will have one here. But unless Demeter herself burns the silos down, I know I'm acting in the will of the gods.
You all right? She's as strong as her mother. I couldn't be more proud. I only wish she'd change her mind. Maybe she will. In the meantime, whenever we sail past these lands, let's make it a point to stop in and say here. for departure. Good to have you back, Commander. Yes, was right. The artist has captured Poseidon in all his magnificence. Xenia's map maker better be right. Poseidon watches over his ocean. While he's distracted, let's see what's in his temple. <sighs> Q 
Keeper, you came. Keeper, you have come far to meet me here. Keeper? My name is Alexios. Names change, but this task is eternal. You are the Keeper. He who keeps the great seal closed and the staff of Hermistris Megistus safe. Your voice. I heard it in Atlantis. You remember. My name is Alethea. With the staff in your hands, we are now entwined. Entwined? How? I can now present myself to you in a form that you recognize. You must deliver me to the heir of memories. Even now, she watches us. When I speak to you, I speak through you to her. None of this makes any sense, Alethea. It will. In Atlantis, the Great Seal hid itself from Pythagoras. It wants to be opened, but not by him. Your task is to prepare the air of memories to open it. Pledge yourself. Where is this air? Not where, but when. She is yet to be, but even still, she is here watching us now. Fine. I pledge to keep the staff until the heir of memories, whoever that is, is ready to take it. All right. What did your diagnostic show you? Elena's getting the results now. It will take us time to analyze. For now... Kyoshi, you cut out. You there? Another bag. I was saying, for now, try to relax. Heir of memories. The great seal awaits you. Victoria, did you hear that? Nothing on our end. What did you hear? Before there was radio static that we were being jammed, but just now, I heard a voice. The same one Alexius heard in Atlantis. Might be the bleeding effect. Like Kyoshi said, try to relax while Alana works on the results of the diagnostic. Go to the seal, air. The Keeper delivered me to you. His pledge has been satisfied, and now I am entwined with you. Heir of memories, this is the great seal to Atlantis. It has waited long to meet you. Victoria, Alethea's voice is coming through the staff. Victoria? The interloper can't hear you now. You're scrambling my comms? Focus, Layla. You're not going crazy. You think that memory... If it wasn't an animus malfunction, Alexios was the keeper holding the staff for me? And somehow the staff has been equipped for auto transmission and is connected to this seal. These symbols. It almost looks like a locking mechanism. Name these symbols in order, and at long last, the seal will open to the air of memories. Okay, talking stick. But which symbols? In what order? There must be some way to know. The keeper kept this riddle and more in his mind. Altair 2. I'm going back in the Animus. If the signal gets through and you can monitor my vitals, great. If not, well, you've earned one free. I told you so. Keeper, our task is to guide the heir of memories to the symbols. A man called Theras knows of their whereabouts. Theras? The guy who helped get Phidias out of Athens? Is that why you've brought me back to this place? Here, the role of the Keeper bound itself to you, though you didn't know it yet. Now, to uncover the truth, we must go to Theras. How will I know this heir of memories when I see her? She will come to you. The end of your journey is in the Hall of Atlantis, where her true journey begins. I don't understand who the Keeper is. The Keeper isn't a person, but a task. And it is yours. Pythagoras held the staff to exploit its power. The Keeper's task is to restrain it and protect it from the hands of corruption until the Heir of Memories appears. Who or what are you? I am Alethea. Pythagoras called my people the ones who came before, but we are the issue. Like you, I invited rebellion into the world, though there were complications. 
I replicated my consciousness in the staff of Ermistris Megistus so that I can speak with you and the heir. Thiras could be anywhere now. What I know is that he was brought to Serifos, but be careful. He went against his will. I'm going to find Thiras. I guess you're coming with me. Our tasks are the same. Layla, come in. Alana, is that you? Two things. Something's been interrupting our comms, which explains why we lost our vitals. Kiyoshi is looking into it. I know this sounds crazy, but I think it's the staff. Nothing sounds crazy to me anymore. Still, I'd like to verify. In other news, your animus is definitely bugging out. Victoria is yelling at her monitors in French, and frankly, I'm not sure what you're doing is safe. You call that yelling? <sighs> Layla, the Altair 2 is moving into position. We're gonna ask that you come up for air while we take a look at it. I can't do that, Vic. Alexios is looking for Theras who might know how to unlock the Great Seal to Atlantis. The what? Layla, I... Theras was a friend to Phidias. I'll let you know more as soon as I get answers. Layla out. I don't know any more than Phidias did. Please, stop. I want to stop, but I can't. Not until you tell us where you found the symbols in Phidias's workshop. Leave him! Dad, once you tell me... I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. Are you all right? It's nothing compared to what they did to Porfidias. Did you hear? What do you know about Fidias? Only rumors now. A woman in gold came into his workshop, tortured him, broke his hands. His body was too destroyed for a proper burial. All because of these symbols. Symbols? I was exploring the tombs of Agamemnon, Etioclis, and Orion. I'm a traveler like you. I found the symbols and etched them onto parchment to give to Phidias as a gift. Where were these symbols? In Argolis, you'll find one in Agamemnon's tomb. Etioclis's tomb in Attica is where I found another. The final one. I found in Viotia, deep in Orion's tomb. You need to find somewhere safe, Thiras. You can sail with us on the Adrestia. I would be forever in your debt. Take this map. It's rough, but it's the best I could do. Here, Eagle Bearer, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 